Yo, it's only me, Wooster Richard. How you doing? It's only me, Wooster Richard. I've been training. Lo- I've been training lots of martial arts here tonight by myself. Just basics, just free flowing some stuff. Um, it's raining. It's been raining very heavily, so my feet are very dirty because I didn't want to wear my. I didn't want to wear my um, flip flops. You know, sandals, sandals. Uh, but I'm here in this basketball field in the college. It's the holiday now. I've got to do some more working out later when I'm going to do some weights, dumbbills. Not the heaviest, but like some good repetitions, you know, building up more strength in my arms. Trying to keep my flexibility, my coordination, my flexibility and my whole structure of my stance work, stance work and breathing and everything together, as you can see. Hardcore as ever. I mean, how many people do you know who are out? I'm not boasting, I'm just saying a lot of people in life are just so lazy to do any exercise. That it's been raining very heavily today. As you can see, it's dirty and wet ground. I've got no shoes on, so I look a bit crazy, yeah? In fact, some people just passed just there earlier on. Some people, as I say, um, plus it's in China too, and I'm a, I'm a foreigner, so I probably look oh, like a crazy foreigner doing martial arts, you know, but it's like, you know, I've been training all my life, as I say, since 12 years old, since I was 12 years old, and martial, martial arts will always be my life. So I integrate everything I know from my different training, you know, um, my Kung Fu styles, Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Wushu, you know, um, long fist, okay. Wing Chun, as I say, karate, kickboxing, everything I've taken over the years, animal styles, training, basic bagua, basic tai chi, as I say, tai chi, tai chi, uh, everything, I'm just putting it all together, my basic working out that I do anyway, stretching and stuff, and you've only got one body, you don't need to compare to everybody, you've only got one life, one mind, one body, all you need to do is just tell yourself, push yourself, you know, find a bit of time, if there's that moment, you could be at home exercising, you could be outside, if you can, if you can, if you can get outside, I'd, I advise anybody to do it. Be careful with this day or night and different places. This place is fairly safe, <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying, you know, um, just find a chance now to challenge yourself. In the holiday, I will be doing a lot of training here. Sometimes in the evenings, like it's cooler in the evenings, as I say, this is tropical, tropical part of China, but in the evenings, people come here and they do some basketball exercises. So it's very hard for me to come here sometimes and find the best privacy to myself to train, you know, but sometimes I do and I like to train by myself and probably, but you know, in the daytime it's like burning hot in the tropical summer heat you know in the holidays and it's also hard to like train because it's really hot but it's like i come here and do it you know and i get it on video and the martial arts training sometimes and i wake up in the morning do my full workout stretching as you know and then i just train more here in the day in the holidays i always try to find little places to train outside if i can sometimes as well as just at home but the thing is it's like it can be hard if there's people around and if it's very um hot as i say it can be hard but I do it, you know, but it's like, if you can find a time to yourself to just do some exercises, all I'm saying, even if you're not a martial artist, just get out there and do it. And people that are serious about their martial arts, same with you, okay, I don't care who you are, you might be some modern day MMA tough guy or whoever you are, you know, but with me, I just do my traditional martial arts. But what I'm trying to say is the spirit of the martial arts has always been the same throughout the years. Whatever styles you favour and whatever disciplines you, you take to and... You know, and the ones you reject, you reject. But I'm just saying that if you're open-minded and you train different things, that's good. But I'm saying that whatever styles you do, you know, I'm just saying, you know, um, you should take it seriously. Don't just go to like a gym and be in a fancy gym and just train like when you're around people. Or if your friend goes, you go. And if, if your friend's not up for sparring today, you don't go, you know. And you're just flexing your muscles in the mirror. Because at the end of the day, you might have a lot of muscle and it's good to train, you know, to be tough and that. I'm, I'm going to do a bit more weights tonight. But martial arts is a, is a discipline for your mind and body is what I'm trying to say, for the real world. So be wise, be safe wherever you are out and about. I'm, I'm going to go home, have a good wash. I'm covered in sweat from good training. Been busy today too, this afternoon with other stuff. I've done my full workout this morning too, my stretching and my working out as I do, you know. If you do other stuff like running and stuff, well done to you, you know. I might do a few more jumping jacks before I go. 10 jumping jacks or whatever, <laughs> or 20. Just do whatever you, want, you feel comfortable with, but like push yourself, you know what I mean? And work on your techniques and either outside or at home or whatever just push yourself always push yourself don't wait for people don't wait for yourself to be wait for that luxury gym to open or you have to like be in the best so that you know, just train i'm outside an urban environment here night time evening it's nearly eight o'clock and i'm just here training by myself one crazy foreigner in china you know but uh, so i've been training by myself for the last 12 years as i say to, to this video now i've been training for 12 years by myself for myself, I've been training with students and stuff, like people I teach as well, like some basic martial arts, humbly enough, but it's like, also it's like, you know, just, I'm a teacher by day, as I say, in the college, in this particular college now, but you know, I'm just saying, you know, 
Um, I was just, I've just been training so hard. I've been training since I was 12 years old in the martial arts, and I'm now 35, nearly in this year, in this video, I'm nearly 35 years old. But I don't care, you know. As they say, age is just a number. We've all been inspired by like the Rocky movies and whatever, Van Dam and whatever you may have seen, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, or whatever. Yeah, sorry, I was just saying before the camera cut out there, I myself have all, I've also been very, very, you know, inspired by different um, martial artists throughout the years, like even movie stars and stuff. It could be anyone, you know, you watched growing up and things like that. But the real deal, martial arts is about real training and training yourself, you know, for your health, to keep fit and healthy in your body throughout your whole life. And it's a path, journey of life. So if I was you, absolutely, sh you should not smoke and not drink alcohol. It's just not good for your body, for fuck's sake. It's the same, excuse my language, it's the same with um, drugs or anything. You don't need to do that. And you don't need to be negative in the mind state of frame in your mind. All you need is a positive attitude in your mind. Take care of yourself. Keep healthy and fit. Keep safe. Keep logical. Don't train outside in monsoons and blizzards and stuff or heat waves. Make sure you're okay. Take some fluid with you if you need to drink, you know, and be, be safe in your environment. But I'm just saying, just, just train, you know, just discipline yourself. It's about discipline. Some people act like they're so tough and they're the big bad fighter and they want to take everybody on and I'm not like that, I'm not the best fighter at all. But martial arts is good for anybody, men and women of any age, people, to, you know, to, to learn and learn some basic self-defense techniques and some very good fitness training and it's just great. It's something I've taken to and it's, it's a wonderful discipline, it really, really is. And um, I'm just saying, you know, for people out there who just want to do basketball, whatever you can, you know, do whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying, you know, don't hold back and just wait and like, always, always just like leave it, you leave it and never do it. Just do some, if you see that, I was just walking through here just now, I was just heading back home. I've been here for a good while now, just doing some basic training, just practicing some kicks. I practiced my Tai Chi form a, pr a couple of times, I practiced my Wushu form a couple of times, I practiced some basic free flow like kicking techniques and a few... Uh, hand movements and stance work and some stretching and, and things just a few flows you know flowing a bit of different styles and stuff and it just feels so good you know just ex if you feel good and you're sweating you're working out you're working out you can do anything you want badminton god damn it football whatever you want to do but working out you know training your body exercise is what it's about and then the discipline of the martial arts when you train you think about those techniques and focus, about what, focus on what you're actually doing with the techniques. I'm going to stop this one here, okay? Talk to you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Train hard and stay safe always.